Welcome back everybody to Dallas Wheelick Tactics. This is gonna be my free to play baby account update. 140, stop it, 140 days of progression, free to play grind every single day, trying to get the max possible on a free to play account. It's, it's really 142 days, but I, I'm gonna call it 140 because I like round numbers. So let's uh, immediately, you see up top in the left-hand corner, 16 million co uh, collection power, which eh, I think my main account is almost 40. So it's slow, right? It's slow as it should be. If we go directly to my heroes, I wanna talk about heroes. So that's the biggest uh, gripe I, I, I hear from free to play is too many triple S, can't keep up, blah, blah, blah. All this new content requires the triple S, blah, 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 gripe, 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 complain, complain, complain. While I am, while I can understand that perspective, um, I'm not really compassionate towards it because this this game has only been out since November. Um, in my opinion, maybe all of this content should have dropped on release, but that's not how mobile games go. They kind of get it just ready and then they have to put out uh, constant updates in order to generate income since it's a free to play game. Okay. So all of the typical free to play gripes, I, I don't buy those. I don't buy them at all. So my heroes, um, what have I worked on this, this last 20 days since uh, I did a free to play update? Well, I got Nord almost to summit level 120, but he, he is hyper evolved. Uh, and he is, uh, well, immortal, I guess. So he was the character that I focused on. I got one copy of Nord when he came out on his banner. And then I used jeans to level up other heroes that were closer to immortal. And then as soon as they were done, I went to Nord. And that's how you have to play this game free to play. Um, uh, Emma and Crete and Masrani are all, we're all in the starting weeks rotation when I started. So given the fact that the game gave me lots of copies of them, I maxed them out, or not maxed them, I took them to Immortal first and then branched out. Uh, Daniel, I didn't get Daniel in the starting event as new free-to-play players do. I had to work on him from scratch from one copy. Ampu, I had to work on him from one copy. Sorvali, same thing. And that's what you have to do as a free-to-play. And I've said this in other places, you gotta pick a team and focus on it. So I have the three triple S summoners that make up this the, the summoner core team, Daniel, Ampu, Sorvali. Then after that, I do believe I finished Leo uh, because, and Leo had a giant tower that I had 80 tickets for free to play. So I was able to get a few copies of him and he's, he's a mortal plus one. So I got him done. And then as soon as Leo was done, I started working on Nord. That's kind of like, you get that base, um, Daniel, Ampu, Masrani, Sorvali, Leo, Nord, Rez. Um, you can breeze through Twilight Lands. The last iteration of Twilight Lands, I made it right up to 16.3. I think I got 18th. I could have got like sixth if I had pushed it a little faster, uh, but uh, I got stonewalled on the assassin wall at 16.4, as did the majority of the people on my, uh, my server. So my point is pick a team, Work on it slowly. You're not going to get all the new things. Look at all the, uh, look at all the single copy characters I have. Uh, Bur Barag, Dominic, Rosaris, Miranda, Skur, Moriami. Right. The only reason why I have a yellow Wamagon is because I got a free copy on the spinny wheel thing. Um, uh, Prigor. So Prigor is red because you see up top here. I got Natalus already immortal. So I was working on him from Twilight Lands. Uh, to kind of help the energy team, since I knew I was going to have Nord instead of Prigor, I went Natalus because now I can run um, maybe Nord, Natalus, and once I get Miranda up there, and then I got to kind of run a triple S or not a triple S, an elite energy character until I get my Ravenna Immortal or even run Ravenna at uh, Legendary, right? So I have. Uh, the energy team is being worked on. I have Crete Immortal from the starting rotation. Leo's done. You know what that means? That means as soon as I get my tanks done, I'm gonna work on Barag, right? So tanks, look, I've been working on my Panda since I got Nord Immortal, and my Panda 
who I only started off with one copy of, uh, is almost uh, immortal because they gave out elite chapter copies. And so the, the, this game will feed you them. You guys can't get stuff right away. It will come slowly free to play unless you're spending. That's just the way it is. And I still think this game is the most generous free to play path of any game there is. New players starting out. Yes, you've missed the old banners. You're going to have to wait till they come back. But they've reworked the beginning starting weeks to basically push you towards a summoner team. You got Daniel. You're going to get Daniel and Masrani almost to at least legendary if you play it correctly. And Crete too, almost two more. So there's there's your tank. Daniel's excellent and Masrani is, is excellent. There's your starting team. Now go. Now branch out. Um, so assassins somehow i got bailey at legendary um and then after vanguard since i already have the two pieces i'll probably move to assassins so then i'll have summoner team i'll have kind of an energy team i'll have a tank team i'll have a vanguard team and i'll have an assassin team lots of stuff so there's my roster the only character that i don't have a single copy of is luke uh, because i've never seen a uh banner of luke uh, that's just how it is and I don't want to spend chips on him since I only have 115 chips and I don't want to spend 120 right chips don't free to play this is probably the one of the biggest tips do not ever buy copies of heroes with chips or with your tokens I guess they're called chips no that's not it where is it where are all my chips I guess I don't have any. Oh, no, I don't have any. That's right, because I, I, I had I had an even 80 and I bought a Gene Hybrid with it. Do not spend your chips on anything other than Gene Hybrids. Never, 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 never. Not your tickets, your chips, right? Your pity chips. So even, uh, look, I got almost another Triple S uh, Hyper Evolution Crystal right there. I'll have it almost bang on immediately as soon as the next Twilight starts. And I'm probably gonna do I want I think Anpu would benefit my account the most or Panda one of those two although Crimson Abyss is important it's the only dungeon where you can get your leveling materials uh, so I might want to do Anpu right which means I gotta uh, commit to him for x30 as well so there is my my roster and there's my little rant about um the state of the game, kind of. Um, what else do I want to talk about, though? Um, if we look at endless battles, look at free to play. I'm I'm 18th. That is obscenely high ranked, in my opinion, for playing free to play in a mobile game. Usually, if you're free to play, you're out. Of, you're top 100, right? You're just you're just surpassed. But uh, let's let's go look. So, yeah, yeah, a lot of uh, big boys up top there. Let's go to where am I am um, blah, blah 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 there I am okay Enrique let's look at someone there's a fam let's look at this guy look at this guy he's got he's got better stuff than me he's got a immortal Dominic he's got a mortal Prigor he's got hyper evolution Rickert he's got Ravenna built out more there's 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 no reason why I'm beating him right it's just you got to learn how to play this game. And I'm not saying that people don't know how to play this game, but you know what? Some people don't know how to play this game. Uh, but it's really fun when you do. Um, okay, so let's let's talk about dungeons. So we've already looked at Endless Battle. Um, ranked 18th currently. Uh, Twilight Lands, I ranked 18th again. Seems to be my role. Um, got a lot of good stuff from Twilight Lands. Uh, arenas... Okay, I'm not going to click on the 12, but after I climbed today, I made it to 12. Usually that's right where I am, around 12 to 10. I'm usually never in the top 10. And then I am firmly in the top 50 for Galactic Arena, and that's just fine. Definitely not pushing it. I'm 38th, but uh, I used to be pushed out of the top 50. And now, since I've built up my teams a certain way, in fact, let's show you my free-to-play teams. Uh, I got the Summoner team, as I said. I got a Vanguard team with Nord. And then I got a tank team, right? And with that, I can stay in the top 50. And there are some heavy spenders in this in this, uh, in this this server. What else? Let's talk about the dungeons. Okay, Lost Valley. 
I am still stuck on X1 of all of the three dungeon, in dungeons in Lost Valley. Why? Because I haven't worked on Miranda yet and I don't have Ravenna and Luke built up. So I'm not gonna be able to push these two and that's just fine. I am farming X1 and I am getting at least some hourglasses. I still don't have a level 50 commander so I don't need the big hourglasses. Uh, so, but I am just fine where I am farming X1. Disa Caves, I am also farming X1 and I'll show you the team. I still have that one purple copy of Rosaris, but uh, her, her and Emma, and then two elites and Masrani, and it gets it done pretty much on auto every single day. And until I focus on hunters, which is way down the line, I know, I just know that I'm not gonna be able to complete those higher levels. I, I just can't. And then Terra Dome, I'm also completing X1. Um, can't do X2 yet because I don't have my assassins developed, but. I am able to farm X1 with a single, single purple copy of Dominic, a red Rickert, and a legendary um, Bailey. So that's pretty good for free, free to play account. Um, Sincero Marsh, like I said, my team's a little different there. It's a uh, Miranda purple, again, one copy, Miranda purple. All of the X levels you really only needed one copy and as a free to play you should be able to get one copy every single banner and that's how you do it you get one copy and then your chips you buy gene hybrids and use that to work on who you're currently working on and then by then i do have nord but before i had nord i think i put i had masrani up front and i think i had my my little baby uh ravenna in there and that got her done just nord gets it done way faster and I will say, Kane and Falvia, absolute money AOE characters. So that's Lost Valley. If we want to look at the Katosian Triangle, um, I could kind of tell you that on Mirage Space, I'm getting down level four or maybe, I think five. I think I can complete level five with my summoners the way they are. Thundercliff, I can only do level three, right? So I can complete, I'm halfway through Thundercliff and that is Vanguards and I can still do three, which is fine. Um, Battle of Azura, the tank one, I get that one, I think I can complete four. It's either four or three. Maybe it's three. Maybe I can only complete level three. The Roulette of Truth, I think I'm doing level four. And then Crimson Rot, I'm clearing level six because I have Nord. Why? Because I focused Nord. Nord was the key character for this dungeon. If I want to complete Roulette of Truth, then I got to finish my Rickert. If I want to finish Battle of Azura, I got to finish my Panda. You see what I'm coming from. Um, each dungeon requires one key hero. All you got to do is work on them and eventually you will pass it. And in my opinion, grinding it out like that, it's much more satisfying than on like my main account where I just clear everything day one that it's launched oh oh here's it done here's the guide here's how to do it uh, but that's kind of what I, I i need to do i need to have that that end game uh comp to show you what what you have to strive towards to get to clear something um ancient altar that was cleared a long time ago uh, that's really the only thing relevant i guess i i, I guess this video is just kind of a trying to calm some uh, some fervor that's maybe out there regarding new heroes. And I see it all the time when, when they announce a new hero on Facebook, everyone cries and bemoans the fact that they can't keep up. Well, it, you're not supposed to get them day one. And you know, they've almost got the whole game content built out. Um, they're gonna have this last dungeon, which is gonna be a hunter dungeon, which I'm gonna really suck at since uh, I'm hunters are my worst built class. But then they got Guild vs. Guild. So now they're gonna have all the dungeons released, requiring all the different teams. And then Guild vs. Guild comes out. You're gonna wanna build all the teams for all the dungeons, but then you're also gonna have all the teams for all of the arena content and the Guild vs. Guild and Summit and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's, they've, they've mapped this out really well, in my opinion. And I, 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 I don't know why people complain. Um, just kind of off topic, you get a giant tower every two weeks. If you have 80 tickets, which uh, that's how I got my record up to red. That's how I got my Panda, I think. 
uh, whoever was on a giant tower, Leo. That's how I got them up there. Like, you just don't spend your tickets stupid. Only pull the pity on every new hero. Don't go past pity because that's a waste of tickets. Save the rest of the tickets. Bank the ones up you get through the week. Uh, and the next week after, if the mid-cycle banner is someone you need, get pity on them too. But always try to keep close to 80 tickets for a giant tower or, or whatnot. But I've never had an issue with getting heroes. Um, since I'm tapped with chips, it's going to be a bit. Uh, it's going to be probably like two weeks until I can get my panda immortal. But then there's that the key the key tank hero done. Uh, I might leave skip um, Zeta after Panda and work on Barag to get uh, the Vanguards up quicker uh, or Rickert. But but since uh, my Dominic is purple, it makes more sense for me to pick Barag. And then you just keep chipping away. You just keep chipping away, chipping away, chipping away, guys. And that's, I don't know, that's my, my, my rant about rants, kind of. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, free to play update day or day 140. Never missed a day. Never spent a dime. Never spent a penny. Um, loving the game. Uh, my free to play is uh, just as fun as my pay to win. I love my pay to win account because it's I can do everything and blah 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 blah. But my free to play, it's it's just really it's kind of fun to constantly every day making a little bit more progression, a little bit more progression, a little bit more pr progression. Every week, every event, getting better, getting better, getting better, getting better. How many tickets do I got right now? No, 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 no. I think I got over 60. Got 115, which means if this, if we get a giant tower event, unless it's Nord. If it's Nord, I'm not pulling, I'm not getting two more. I got to save it for the next banner. But, you know, 115 tickets and I got an ancient altar payout um, next this Sunday Got, this game is very generous on, on the premium currency now, really the premium currency is red runes but that's a whole nother story so ladies and gentlemen I'm going to wrap this up right there tell me what you thought in the comments below who's right me or the ranters but I'm, I kind of ranted on this one too so I guess I'm kind of a ranter too uh, you tell me in the comments below um, the safe word of the day is Glasses. Uh, don't ask why. Glasses. That doesn't make any sense, but it's a random word. Okay, put glasses in the comments. I'll know you made it to the end. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Peace. Bye-bye.